The next application we'll consider is load management using the factory preset values. As it happens, the SAK is set up for this application by default, so you will probably only need to make two adjustments. Bear in mind that this mode is primarily intended for air-cooled generators, which account for the bulk of residential generator sales. In this mode, the SAK will monitor frequency while on generator power. If frequency drops below 58 Hz for three seconds, then the SAK will drop the load for the program delay, then restore the load if frequency is above the threshold. Turning to the load management quick start chart, we see that we only need to adjust a total of six menus, and we can scroll past and ignore any menus not shown on this page. Menu A should be set to zero to disable dry contact control of the relay. Menu B should be set to one to enable load management on generator power. Menu C should be set to one to enable factory presets for under frequency control. Menu D should be set to 0.2 for a 12 second startup delay. Menu G should be set to 2.5 for your highest priority load. This will provide a two and a half minute delay before the load is restored after generator power has been detected. Additional SAKs on the same system should be staggered in 30 second increments. Menu O should be set to 2.5 for your highest priority load. This will provide a two and a half minute delay after an under frequency drop has occurred before the load is restored. Additional SAKs on the same system should be staggered in 30 second increments. As I said, the SAK is set by default for this very application, so you'll probably only have to set your restoration timers. But for the purposes of this video, I have set all of the relevant values to zero to demonstrate how quickly you can set up the SAK from scratch, so to speak. Let's begin. Menu A is at zero, B up to one, C to one, E to point two, G to 2.5, and menu O, which is right after the three lowercase d's, if you're curious. will be set to 2.5. And that's it. We're finished. This SAK is now set for under frequency load management using the factory preset value of 58 Hertz for three seconds as the threshold at which all loads will drop. In my next video, I'll cover user adjustment of the under frequency and delay settings.